Hello, I'm Dr. Rebecca wilson Zing. Thank you for joining me today as we explore a simple yet very effective breathing practice for restoring calm to the body. For many right now, there are a number of stressors at play. With the physical distancing measures, with our daily routines disrupted, with our work impacted, as well as with other stressors that have gone on, like the earthquakes here in Salt Lake City, we are reaching more than ever for self-care tools to help us restore calm and balance to the body and the mind. I'd like to invite you into this breathing practice where we really work with prolonged exhalation, with prolonging the out breath to bring greater balance and support to the parasympathetic nervous system and work to calm down the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are the two parts of our autonomic nervous system. The part of our nervous system that helps regulate our organs and bodily functions that impact how quickly our hearts beat and how we're able to digest. Much of that has been impacted as we have entered a state of stress and fight or flight. Um, as the sympathetic nervous system has been ramped up, it's become very difficult to do things like rest, digest, and even lie down to sleep at night. Through two to one breathing, we are inviting the body in, back into that space of greater calm. With it, as we work to have a longer exhale compared to inhale, we actually are supporting the calming of the sympathetic nervous system. So I'd like you to start by coming to a very comfortable seated position. It can be in a chair, it can be on the ground, cross-legged, or with a cushion underneath your hips to support your back. And with this, we always want to start with nice alignment of the spine, making sure that our sit bones are firmly grounded into the earth, making sure that we are in a nice, erect, upright position in the body, stacking the vertebra of the spine, one on top of the other, tucking the chin slightly, to really experience the power of connecting down to the earth and up into the sky. So we are reestablishing a center. As you enter your comfortable position, I'd like to invite you either to allow your hands to rest comfortably on your knees or turn the palms up towards the sky. For some people, bringing the thumb and the pointer finger together can also be empowering and inviting energy in. So whatever is comfortable for you, I'd like you to start by just closing your eyes and becoming aware of the breath as it passes in and out of your nostrils and your lungs. Just noticing its rhythm, moving in through the tips of the nose, down the windpipe, into the lungs, where it passes into the blood, and is moved out through the rest of the body with the heart pumping rhythmically. Follow that breath as it moves back out from the fingertips and toes, up the arms and legs, from the belly and the chest, into the lungs, out the windpipe and back out into the surrounding air. Always ready to receive and move out whatever you are ready to let go of today. So inviting the breath in to a count of three, we're going to then exhale to a count of six. Again, prolonging that exhale. Let's inhale and exhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Continuing with a rhythm that feels right for you. 
I want you to continue to the count of three inhales and count of six for exhalation. Inhaling and exhale. And let's just continue with that for one to two minutes. Continuing with the rhythm that feels right for you, inviting in newness, inviting in that nourishing breath, that connected breath, and inviting out any of the turbulent or excited or anxious energy that's been churning inside of you. Take just a few more relaxed breaths. As we finish today, just noticing anything that has changed in your body, any shift in potential tightness around your chest or your belly, any openness or calm in the mind. And know that this is a breathing technique that is always available to you any moment in the day. We always have to breathe and we can always work to connect with that breath, to invite in greater nourishment and invite out anything we're ready